Good morning, guys. It's like 9.30 right now. It's, what day is it? It's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. <laughs> Mother's Day is in like two days. Um, I have a few last minute things to get. And it's also my sister's birthday. She'll be 31. So I have some stuff to get for her. Um, but first, I'm going to go to Starbucks and get a coffee and maybe like egg bites or something. So then I don't know if I'm going to go to like Target, TJ Maxx, where I'm going to go. Brian has to be at work um, this afternoon. So I have a couple hours to get some stuff done. I already got my mom like the nice Barefoot Dreams robe. She like really wanted that. Um, so I got her that. Um, and Milo had some pictures taken. So I'm going to probably put a frame put one in a frame and give that to her. I have no idea what I'm going to get my sister. She loves Starbucks, so maybe a Starbucks gift card and also a picture of Milo in a frame. I don't know. I suck at gift giving. Like, I'm just not very good at it. So, yeah. Let's go to Starbucks first and then I'll figure out where I'm going. Okay, I just got my Starbucks. I just got a grande ice skinny vanilla latte. And then I got these bacon egg bites, which I've never had them before. And they smell good. This is what they look like. They're like really, really hot though. So I'm thinking, I'm at Walgreens. I'm thinking of just getting some Mother's Day card and a birthday card here because I did print off those pictures of Milo here. So I'm going to run in and probably get that first and then I'm probably going to eat this and probably go to TJ Maxx or Target and see like what I can find. Yeah. I'm gonna go and I get this stuff, so. This guy's staring at me, so bye. It is like way later, you guys. I'm so sorry I didn't check in with you. Hang on, let me pause this. I'm watching Tati's video, you know, the whole James Charles scandal. If you guys are watch like beauty guru stuff, but it's a bunch of drama. So I'm watching Tati's video about that, but. Yeah, it's like 5.30 right now. I'm so sorry, guys. Me and Milo have just had a pretty lazy day today. Um, so earlier, I went to TJ Maxx, and I picked up some picture frames, some extra stuff for Mother's Day. I just ended up getting my sister a home goods gift card, TJ Maxx, home goods, whatever, um, for her birthday. And... Yeah, we've just been like hanging out all day. I finished watching The Act on Hulu. If you guys have not seen that, you need to watch it. It's um, about the Gypsy Rose Blanchard case, if you've ever heard of it. Uh, the mom had like that Munchausen's by proxy. So it's such a good show. So you should go check that out. But yeah, I finished that today. I had a bunch of cleaning to do that I haven't done. Um, but I did get my Sephora package in and I also got Milo's new car seat in. So, I thought that I would show you guys what I got from the Sephora VIB sale. Okay. We're just going to sit here and do it on the coffee table because my back has been, like, killing me lately, you guys. So, I've been taking it easy for the last few days. So, I got tons of goodies, a lot of samples and everything like that. I'm not really going to go through everything, but I told you guys in my everyday makeup routine that I really wanted to get this, but I was waiting Oh my god, ew. Do not look at my nails. <laughs> ew. So I got the um, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I picked up this. I love this oil. I use it every night. The Drunk Elephant um, Marula Oil. I needed a new cleanser. So I picked up this Drunk Elephant Bestie Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. Had really good reviews, so I thought that I would try that out. I picked up another Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Light Wonder Foundation. I use the shade, I want to say for fair. Yeah, in the shade four. So I picked up another one of those. I got a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This is a kissing lipstick in the shade Penelope Pink. I needed a new powder, so I got this Hourglass Veil um, Translucent Setting Powder. So I Thought that I would try that out. I heard a lot of people with like dry skin loved this, so I picked that up. I 
Joe's over there playing. <laughs> Sorry for the music. Then I needed a new brush and I got this Shishido Cleansing Massage Brush. I can't talk today, wow. This Shishido, how do you say it? Is it Shishido? Whatever, you know what I'm saying? That is the brand. Cleansing Massage Brush. So I need a new one of those, thought I would try that out. It was only like 25 bucks. I got, oh, where are you at? I got this Ole Henriksen Truth um, Serum. It's like the vitamin C serum. I got a Bite Beauty lipstick. I love their lipsticks. Meringue is actually my favorite shade, so I got another one in that. I got this Fresh Vitamin Nectar Vitamin C Boosting Massage Mask. I love this mask. It is super like hydrating. If you have like really dull skin, this is a really good mask to use. Then I also got another uh, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand and the Fair to Medium shade. Um, again, I use this in my everyday makeup routine. It's like one of my favorite like cream contour products. I got another Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is my favorite like setting spray. I use this like to kind of uh, blend out my concealer and stuff like that too. And then I needed a new eye cream, so I got this Kiehl's Powerful Wrinkle Reducing Eye Cream. I needed a new concealer, so I got this Too Faced Born This Way. Uh, natural Radiant Concealer. I believe I got it in the shade Light Medium. And I think it's like everything else. I feel like it's uh, samples. Oh, I did get this too. I picked up just like the travel size Gimme Brow. I used the shade uh, 3. And then everything else is just all these little um Oh, I'm so excited to try that. Like a sunscreen. So, awesome. So, that's everything that I got from the Sephora sale that I would show you guys. Sorry, today's vlog is not very exciting, but. What are you doing, Bubba? Also, I just kind of got this. Well, I ordered this probably like two months ago. And I'm not sure how I feel about this like whole little coffee table setup. I don't know. I think it's cute, but some days I hate it. So I've been working with it to see what I like. I was also right down there playing. Can you say hi, Bubba? You guys, he said his first word. He said Dada the other day, and I was like so mad. But I'm the one who taught him. Like, I was sitting there and I was like, Mama, Mama, Dada, will you do it, Papa? He won't do it. Anytime I have my phone on, he, like, stops doing what he's doing. But we just recently got him this. Well, we got it for Easter. You saw it. I don't know if you saw it in my Easter haul. No, I got it after my Easter haul, but we added this to his Easter basket. Um, it's this VTech, like, little locker thing, and it has a bunch of stuff on the front. Um, he's a little too young for it now, but he can stand up and just like hold on to that part and just stand there. He can't like take steps or anything like that yet, but I thought it was so cute. Are you so cute? His hair is getting like really long on top. It's crazy. He's so big, you guys. I can't believe he's going to be eight months in like a week and a half. But let me show you the car seat that we just got him. Okay, do not mind all of those boxes that we need to get rid of. Um, yeah, just ignore that. But this is the car seat that we just got them. It's the Brightex Boulevard Click Tight. I basically just looked up online like best car seats and this was like number three in like all the list. So we did have the Brightex for his first car seat, like the infant one. Um, and he's just like way too big for it. Like the buckle is so tight on him. So we needed to get something. I think we got this from Target. It was around like 250, I want to say. Um, but yeah, I mean, we like the other Braytex car seat. So hopefully this one 
is good as well. Um, it's the like convertible car seat, so um, he'll be rear facing still and then front facing like when he gets a little bigger. You guys, we're sitting here watching uh, Tana Mojo's video with Jake Paul where they are like pretending to be parents. And it's a mess. It's so funny. It's such a mess. Hi. Can you say hi? Say hi, baby. He always gets so confused when I have like a camera out or anything in his face. But I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? It's almost seven o'clock. Wow. Um, I'm actually going to give him a bath quick, get him ready for bed, and I'm gonna make my dinner. Well, actually, I might make my dinner first. Actually. Um, we have a row, ro we have a rotisserie chicken in the fridge, and I think I have some asparagus, so I'll show you guys how I make my asparagus. It is so good. I've been, like, obsessing over asparagus lately. So I'm going to make that and get this kid ready for bed. Hi. So I'll show you that in a minute. I'm not going to use all of this, probably half of this. I'm just going to wash it and then, like, cut the ends off like that. And I'll show you how I season it and stuff. Okay, so I washed it and I cut the ends off. And I'm going to um, use some of this extra virgin olive oil. Let's see if I can do this one handed. I'm just going to do it like right on there. So I'm going to try and not... Oh my god, that was like too much. That's okay. Milo's over there yelling. <laughs> What are you doing, Bubba? Okay, so next I'm going to use some uh, garlic salt. This is, like, really hard to do with one hand. Okay. Okay, so. little garlic salt. And then I use a little bit of um, paprika. On the side. I don't know why the paprika just... Kind of helps it like burn a little bit, which is what I like my veggies like this to be like. And you just put a lot on like that. And then the last thing that I use, um, Brian actually picked this up. It's the Frank's Red Hot Original Seasoning. So it's just like a spicy flavor like the sauce, which is like so good if you season on stuff. Okay, this one's hard. Okay. Um, so I just put... A little of that like that then I just kind of use my hand and toss it around like that and then I put it in the air fryer so I just drop it down on the air fryer like that All right, so I just put that in I put it on 400 and I do it for about 17 minutes I like it burnt and like kind of crispy so if you don't like it that done then I would probably do it like 10 or 12 minutes but yeah I just let that cook like I said I'm gonna have some rotisserie chicken that we have left over from the other day and have that with it I usually don't have carbs with my dinner also I am gluten free now so I don't know if I mentioned that or anything but yeah I'm gonna make this I'm going to give my little bath probably while this is cooking and get him ready for bed soon and I'll check in with you guys in a little while.